we have already done the search customer module where we searched for a customer and his data was presented to us on the form. Now we have to do the edit customer module. That is the data for a customer is to be edited now. We can have a look at what is the desired output. We are here edit customer module desired output. When you search a customer you are shown this customer details and edit link is there and a few detail of whatever was saved is shown here. Now the user will click on this edit. When he clicks on this edit he has to be taken to a new page and the data already has to be shown on that form and in case the user makes some changes then they have to be propagated back to the database. We can have a look at this action link. This is the code that we have in this inset. This action link is generated by this uh, edit customer is the action method home is the controller and it receives a primary key that is the ID of the customer as a root value. So clicking this should take us to a new form and this means immediately we have to add an edit customer action method to the home controller which will, which will accept a get request. And simultaneously to that action method we have to add a view that will show the form for the customer. And finally we will have to write a post method that will accept the modified data coming from the client side and cause the changes in the database. So this is what we have to do right now. Let us start by adding edit customer action method. So uh, let us look for our home controller. This is our ADM and area controllers and home controller. Double click it and this is our home controller. So somewhere here we'll have to type the action method for edit customer. This action method is going to receive a parameter ID that will contain the ID of the record for this customer that is the primary key. Let us now start typing here this is the ID that we'll receive. The ID is a auto number field so a number will come. Querying the database. TBL user is to be returned to the view where it has to be shown the existing values and uh, we haven't made any check for the existence or non-existence. If it is not there, we haven't checked it because the chances of the not being not there are almost zero because you are clicking on something that is already shown on the form. So we are writing t is equal to ctxt dot tbl users dot single or default x goes to a comparison of the primary key and the whole record is returned back to the view for edit customer. Let us now add the view. Click on add. 